Hi, it's Bar from islandtraining.com. Today I will explain how to integrate IPM Rational Team Concert with a GitHub. If you will have any questions, please post your comments under this video and we will try to answer your questions as soon as possible. So enjoy! To integrate a RTC with a GitHub, you don't have to install any additional additional add-ons. So uh, we can we can omit the the phase of installation of uh, and configuration as we do not have to do additional adjustments ad adjustments here to GitHub or uh, RTC. Uh, before we will start, uh, what what you will need you will need your own RTC uh, instance and of course your GitHub account which will be public or your own installation of a GitHub uh, enterprise. Those products should see each other in the network, so they need to have access to, to each other uh, HTTP addresses to work to work together. So please remember, remember about that. Before we will start <coughs> doing and configuring uh, exact, uh, exactly uh, integration, uh, we need to create a GitHub, a GitHub uh, project and we need to have RTC project uh, as well. So in my, uh, using my GitHub account, uh, I will start uh, a simple project which will be public and the name of the project will be RTC integration. And I will just create a repository. You see this empty repository. Uh, and what I will do uh, on my local mach machine, uh, I will do git clone. To create a local local copy of the repository, you see that it is available on my machine already. So what right now what we'll do uh, after we have the, the repository already on the GitHub uh, public or GitHub enterprise, I'll just copy the the uh, URL uh, to, to 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 the repository, and I will go to uh, uh, GitHub uh, to the RTC. In RTC, what you need to do uh, to integrate uh, GitHub with, with RTC, you need to go to source control and open a section which is called work with Git. Uh, and here uh, you are able to browse uh, registered Git repositories. Uh, so as you see, there is nothing right now. So what we will have to do, we will have to register our Git repository inside of uh, Rational, Rational Team Concert. To do that, press register a Git repository. Uh, most probably uh, in the default process template, uh, you don't have privileges, permissions to do that. So go to manage this project area section. Go to permissions and check for your role or for everyone if in the git section Uh, you are able to register uh, repositories uh, and also do push operations. So if you have rights to do that, you can go again to the work with Git section. You can press register a Git repository. Just paste the URL to the Git repository and enter the name of the repository. So for me, it will be GitHub. Uh, you can define a process area. So I will select the scope of the whole project. Uh, and then you should expand section, which is called GitHub server uh, authorization details. And here you, you should define your own secret key uh, for authorization that GitHub will use to authorize in RTC. So we'll, I'll enter my password and I will press save. So now everything in RTC is already configured. Uh, what you have to remember, you have to remember uh, the secret, secret key authoriz uh, authorization for authorization and you need to remember the key uh, which is identifying, identifying uh, Git repository in RTC. So I will show you right now how to configure, how to configure uh, GitHub uh, repository to communicate with uh, RTC. So let's go to the GitHub and let's open settings. In the settings section, 
section, we should go to the webhooks. And in the webhooks, we should add a new webhook. Uh, we need to paste payload URL. Uh, payload URL is not the URL which you will copy from RTC. It is a special URL which you will be able to find in the CLM, CLM uh, documentation. So if you will go to the Knowledge Center uh, and you will go to the uh, documentation for your version of the CLM, under integration, under Git, you will find article which is called integrating with a GitHub Enterprise. And then you will find a template for um, for uh, payload URL. So what I will do right now, I will just copy the payload URL and I will paste it here. As you see, it is a template, so I need to make some adjustments. I'll just go here to jazz.net and copy the beginning of the address. So for me, it is HTTP jazz.net sandbox CCM. And I think it is a little bit too much, so I need to delete this part. And you should go to the end, and at the end of the payload URL, uh, you will find a repo key, which is your report key from RTC. So you can just double click that, copy it, go to payload URL, paste it, and you are ready, ready to go. But you have to also remember to enter a secret that you have defined during RTC configuration. So it is exactly the same key, which is, which is right here. Uh, for my purposes, I will turn off uh, SSL verification and I will just press Add Webhook. Uh, as, you, as you can see, the webhook was, was added, uh, but still it is showing that it is not working uh, because the last delivery was not successful. So what we'll do right now, we'll add file to our Git repository locally and we'll do a commit. Uh, but uh, to show you how exactly it is working, I will connect my commit with a, with a task which is already defined in, uh, in my uh, RTC uh, project. So the task is called uh, uh, GitHub uh, with an ID of uh, 4903. So what I will do right now, on my workstation, I will go to my computer, uh, git, there is my repository, and I will create a simple text file, which will be hello. Okay, and I will do simple git commit. Uh, in the uh, comment for the commit, I am just mentioning work item number, so it was 4903. Uh, and using using the comment line, uh, RTC will know to which to which uh, to which uh, comment this commit should be should be assigned. So I'll press enter, and I will do git push. I will enter my GitHub credentials. So you see that uh, commit was uh, submitted. Let's check if we see the commit in the, yes, we see the commit in the GitHub. Let's check if the integration is working. So we see that the last result was successful. We can click and check out recent deliveries. So we see that everything is working. So we can go to RTC and in, 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 in the RTC, you see that this task was modified and RTC is asking us to refresh to get the latest updates. Let's do that. And in the link section, you see that there is a initial commit that we have created. Of course, it is showing me some details. If I will hover over the link, I can of course click the link and then it will switch me to uh, GitHub showing uh, exactly changes the exact changes in this in this in this commit. So I can go back if I want, 
Uh, and additionally, what I can do at the end, I can modify this file again. And I can do commit again. But this time what I will what I will do, I will I will add additional attribute which will be hash resolve. And that should close that should close our work item. So let's do that. Let's do git push my you know, Free master, let's do it again. We see that it was committed successful. We get a, an update in RTC, repress, refresh, and we see that our work item was switched to to uh, to done, and we also see the second link. Uh, in our links, links, links sections. Unfortunately, right now we are not able to create a new work items using uh, Git, Git, Git commit and, and integration with Git, but those features will be available from Rational Team Concert 6.0.4. Uh, Thank you for watching this video. If you will have any questions, just post your comments under this video and we will try to answer them as soon as possible. But if you will have additional questions regarding island training services like trainings, mentoring and coaching, consulting or implementation services, please send us an email using rick.doll at islandtraining.com. Thank you.